Hey there, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Google Sheets to create a portfolio tracker of your uh, portfolio that entails stocks, bonds, equities, cryptocurrencies, currencies, and so on and so forth. Now I think that this is a great one one-stop shop to include anything in your portfolio. And what I like about this is that they've got a feature here that uh, where the price changes in real time. So, well, not exactly real time, but it does change uh, on its own and it's numbers that you wouldn't have to input uh, manually. So why would you want to use this? Well, it's better than, let's just say, uh, let's just say you have stocks in with one account and then you have uh, currencies on a different account, and then you got crypto on another exchange. So this place, uh, or using Google Sheets, will allow you to put everything on a single spreadsheet, and uh, it'll calculate the values of each. I mean, you will need to do some manual inputting, such as like the quantity that you own, or uh, I, I guess any sort of things that or any buys or sells you you would have to manually change those numbers or let's just say you want to add something in here that's something you would have to add in manually but other than that let's take a look so right here i've done just kind of a quick example of how it works so i had the xsp it's the stock ticker for uh, the s p 500 but it it's an etf so how do I get this price right here? So I didn't actually input this price myself. There's a feature on Google uh, Sheets where uh, you can input the stock name or the equities name and you can uh, track its price. So example, right here is TSC, which is the exchange where uh, XSP is traded on. So I said, oh, I want it from this exchange and this is the the ticking or the ticker uh, symbol and then you have the uh, I just want the price now there are other functions on Google Finance that you can use uh, there's a list of it I'll include it in this in the description but yeah the, for myself all I wanted was the price so that's what I'm just gonna include here and that's the real-time price and uh, the quantity, this is just a made up number, but let's just say I have a thousand shares of XSP and that would be the market value right now. And that's the same thing with uh, BTC or Bitcoin, right? So uh, what you would have to do in Google Finance is you would have to enter currency dash dash BTC. And because I want it in Canadian dollars, I will write CAD. If I want it in US dollars, let's just say USD, right so USD it will change right so you can see the value has changed but because I wanted it in Canadian dollars I'm gonna do it in Canadian and then oh, what I've gotten here is the quantity let's just say I have two Bitcoin and then the market value is um, this times this as you can see up here but yeah more or less uh, this is a straightforward simple way to keep track of everything that you have all on one spreadsheet and this is what I personally use myself just because it's easier to keep track of uh, different things uh, all in one sheet and uh, just as you can see here this would be the total value which is the sum of D2 and D3 right so that's this right here so what I'll do is I'll just kind of show you how to make one um, briefly so what you'll want to do is you'll first want to uh, input the tickers tickers name here and then here so let's just say I wanted uh, XIC right so let's just say I wanted XIC I'm going to take this here I'm going to copy and paste with a code but the XIC is traded on the TSX, so I'm just, but instead of XSP, I'm going to XIC, and then I want the price, and it'll give me the real time price of 27.29. Let's just say I own 500 shares, 
and then I'm going to hit equal uh, B6 times C6 and that'll give you the value, the market value, right? For, let's just say for crypto, I'm going to take this here, I'm going to copy and paste it. So let's just say I own ETH, right? I'm going to copy and paste, and then instead of BTC, uh, I'm going to write in ETH, Canadian, right? And that's the Canadian dollar value. And let's just say I have three of them. I'm going to enter three, and then same thing. Instead of actually typing in, uh, you know, B7 times C7, I'm just going to drag it down like that. And that'll give me the total value. And then to get the total, I'm just going to write in total, and then I'm just going to say it's equal sign the sum of these two values. I'm going to click this, and th uh, or this, and and I'm going to hold the command button, and also click this, right, uh, and then close it off, right. So that's that's pr pretty much what you would do, and how you would create a spreadsheet to uh, track all of your uh, cryptos and all of your other stuff and your portfolio. Uh, just a word of um, caution, I wouldn't say caution, but just um, just to let you know that uh, with with this function here, the currency, there's, it only supports certain cryptos. So if you're in the, uh, I guess, top 10 uh, coins on coin market cap, then it'll have it here. I've tried looking at some other ones, like uh, I don't know. Let's just say Litecoin, right? I think it'll work. But let's just say you wanted, you know, like BAT, like basic attention token. Yeah, it's not gonna have it there, right? So it's only for certain coins. Might not work for you based on your portfolio, but that's. Uh, something that might be of interest to you. But anyways, I hope you found this uh, video informational and informative or educational. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know why you didn't like it and uh, leave a comment down below. But yeah, other than that, uh, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. But yeah, see you next time. Bye for now.